Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad project. So let's get cracking. Friends, I had a fantastic question about my printable rings project. If you haven't completed this part of the tutorial, I will make sure there is a link up here in the corner and in the description of this video so you can get that done. I am going to open my previous project and show you a cool technique for beveling the inside edges of our rings. So the first thing I'm going to do is ungroup my ring so that way I'm working with the easier shape. I'll come back and cut those out later. Friends, we're going to solve this with an epic shape that we need to search for. Please click over here and type REV for revolver and we want this yellow one right here. When you bring it out, let's start by making it a hole. Also switch it to 360 degrees. We are going to use these parameters to make this happen. Please type the number 2 for the height, and then I want you to squeeze this over so it's real thin at this edge right here, and give it a little twist so that comes to a point. This is going to be the part that trims this in a moment. So if we check my ring real quick, diameter is 23.8, I've got two walls, so a total of four, so that'd be 19.8 for my ring. So I'm going to come back to this shape right here. And instead of 19.8, I'm going to type 19 and press enter. This way it will fit pretty close. I'm going to come over here and make sure my grid is set to point 0.1. Select the two, choose L for a line, click the blue one, snap it to the middle. I always like to look at this from a corner so we can see that middle really well. And then I want to work from the top instead of the bottom. So I'm going to just mirror this. So at the moment, this is cutting out a ton of our ring. I'm going to click on that hole and do control up. So you can see it raise up and it starts to cut less and less of our ring. I think this is the amount I want to trim off. Let's select it and do control G. And we'll be able to see just how much we trimmed off the inside of this to make it a smoother ring. So real quickly, you can double click that and you can adjust it by maybe tweaking these edges so it's cutting a little bit different. You could also change your inside diameter. I'm going to click out here and see how that edit looks. Notice you may get a node fails to load. Just wait patiently and it'll usually go away. Bingo, there is my new cut in. I absolutely love that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ungroup. I'm going to do control D. I'm going to do D to drop, so that one's down at the bottom. Make sure I click on that one, hit the mirror button, flip it this way. And then if we look underneath, it's cutting out the ton again. So let's do control down. I think it was one, two, maybe three. I'm going to try two. And then I want to make sure this is lined up perfect. So I'm going to hide the middle. I'm going to take those two sweet shapes and control G. I'm going to group them. Now, once again, this is complex, so it takes a moment. Then I can show everything. I can grab all of that. Notice it says two shapes. Choose L for a line. I'm going to make the blue one the boss. And I'm going to choose middle. So that did adjust a tiny bit. Now, when I group it, let's see how our ring turns out. Friends, I am pretty darn happy. We have just added beveled edges to the inside of our ring. Now I'm going to bring over my words. L for a line, center, center, and center. And let's hit group to reassemble our custom ring. Friends, how cool is that? Friends, as I wrap up, I want to send a shout out to Jason. Totally appreciate the question. Absolutely makes my day when you guys nudge me towards finding something absolutely awesome. Friends, remember, if you do make an epic ring or any creation, it is super simple to share it with me. I'm going to show you these quick settings. You can, of course, click on the background and make it awesome. I'm going to change mine to a gray because I got that Detroit Lions ring. I am going to show the grid, close those settings. I am going to hide all of my practice parts, so I'm going to do that right here. I'll hide the original ring. Once again, that is the hide button. And then I can show this to the world by simply going back here to the Tinkercad workspace, clicking up here on the gear, choosing properties. 
of course, name whatever you created. I'm going to mention that this is a fillet inside edges of a ring tutorial. That tutorial will be added. I always put that in my description and other ways you can reach out. Please add tags so people can search for your design. Friends, if you want me to see what you created, if you type HLMT23 and press enter, I check that tag almost every day. And of course, I'll give you a reaction. Finally, make your design public. And then I always set the license to attribution, no derivatives, because instead of copying, I want you to come up here, find that tutorial, and gain some epic skills. Finally, hit save changes. I do want to show you this real quick as well. I have re-entered my project. I have taken a cool screenshot. I have launched Pixlr.com, and you can see right here I have got a cool template for my rings. This is my cool screenshot I captured when it was getting ready to cut. I am going to copy that. You can use whatever tool you want. And then I'm going to go down to where the image is, and I'm going to paste that in. Control V. And I've taken a moment to create a high quality thumbnail. Now when we return to our project, instead of that little picture of the rings, we can upload that awesome image that we just created by simply double clicking on it. And you'll notice that is such a better look. And then of course, set it as the cover image. Friends, once you've got that added, if you click up here on the gallery, you will see all the staff favorites. Friends, if you click on one of mine, don't forget there will almost always be a tutorial and those reactions are appreciated. You might also find cool things down in the images. When you're done with that, friends, I love to shut off the staff picks though and check out the gallery. I always love to click on this button right here so I can see more designs at once. Whenever you're checking these out, if you see one you think is epic, make sure you click on it and give it a reaction. Friends, of course, there is the one that we just created. If you were sharing with me, that's how quick it would pop up. Of course, friends, reactions are appreciated. And don't forget, you'll find those tutorials in the descriptions. Friends, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with a ton of amazing categories. And then down below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and some Tinkercad essentials. Of course, I also want to remind you about the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, please also note there is a link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a ton of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.